the folks over at Chrysler were just like, hold my beer. And they're over there trying to create the most ridiculous vehicle. I mean, what's next? A Hellcat minivan? <laughs> Today we will be keeping the tires cold on this review of a 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. This obnoxious grocery getter has a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 SRT engine. It's producing 710 horsepower and 645 pound feet of torque, so you can get to the grocery store very, very fast. And you'll have a top speed of 180 miles an hour, and it goes zero to 60 in just three and a half seconds, making ridiculous an understatement when I'm describing this car. And it'll get about 12 miles to the gallon in the city and 17 on the highway. This is obviously not your average Durango. It is styled quite a bit differently with a performance hood with functional air vents and a hood scoop. And it has an SRT front fascia. All of this is designed to provide you with a lot more airflow into the engine. You also get a lower splitter, not to mention it's quite a bit wider. And this is also where you will see your very first Hellcat badge on this car. On the Durango Hellcat, you will get 20 by 10 inch wide rims. They're wrapped in Pirelli Scorpion all season tires. And if you didn't notice it already, you have a huge brake setup. So you'll get these really pretty red SRT Brembo brakes with almost a 16 inch rotor in the front and almost 14 inches in the rear. So you'll have a lot of stopping power. One more little notable feature, you do get your Hellcat badge on each fender. And your fourth and final badge is right here on the back lift gate, so everybody will know you're driving a Hellcat from every angle of this car. It also has a high performance exhaust that sounds amazing. And I wanna mention that it does have a power lift gate, but you can also lift it from this latch here, and the button under here is huge, so you won't be fishing for it. When you open up the back, you even get quite a bit of storage space, even with this third row up. You also have a nifty little secret storage compartment underneath here. And putting your third row down is really easy. All you've got to do is lift these little levers here. And then if you want to close your lift gate, your button is not actually up here. It's right here on the side. This also has best in class towing with up to 8,700 pounds. In this Durango, we have the demonic red and black interior featuring these upgraded Laguna leather seats. They are both heated and ventilated up front, and you'll see you have a nice little SRT badge embossed right at the top. Now there's two elements that some people were, were calling outdated, but I actually prefer. One is this T-lever shifter and a floor mounted parking brake. I don't know why I prefer that. Maybe it's because I'm stuck in the past, but I like it better than an electronic parking brake. Some other optional features that this Durango is equipped with is a power sunroof and a premium Harden Kardon sound system. As far as connectivity goes, you do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have a wireless charging system and you have two USB-C and regular USB charging ports right here as well and an auxiliary input there. Moving up to your 10.1 inch infotainment system, the very first thing that caught my eye, this is so silly, but when you go to the comfort page and you go to control your climate controls in here, the little figures have little helmets, which I think is such a cute touch. I, it was just, it caught my attention and I love that little detail. Also, the biggest thing within this Uconnect is the SRT pages and they made it really easy to access your performance pages with an SRT button right here because you're gonna wanna go check out all of these really cool things. This is where you'll be able to change your driving modes and like I mentioned, see all of these cool performance pages. So you'll be able to see things, um, cool timers, reaction times, which is super fun information, gauges, you get to see dyno runs, and you'll get to see how much G-forces you're pulling and other vehicle dynamics, which is handy information to know. 
The last thing that you can control in your infotainment system is in race options. This is how you access launch control, which is pretty sweet that a three row SUV has launch control. You can also flip this little switch right next to your SRT button down here. Another thing you can do is adjust your shift light. So when you're using your paddle shifters, you can control what RPMs you want that shift light to come on. A lot of that same information from your performance pages can also be displayed right here in your gauge cluster. There's some notable safety features on this Hellcat. You will get front and rear park assist standard and some optional features that you can get are blind spot and cross path detection. So to transfer us to the back seat, I wanna mention the inside of the center console because it's being mostly taken up by a Blu-ray player because we have the upgraded little fun screens back here for your rear passengers. Let's go check it out. We've got a very comfortable second row. We've got these nice leather captain's chairs that are both heated and you get an adjustable armrest as well. You do have two USB charging inputs right down here. And of course, what we're always here for is this rear entertainment center. So along with being able to watch Blu-ray, you can also plug in a VCR because you have AV inputs. And of course, you have some HDMI inputs as well on the back of both seats. These screens can be controlled with one remote, easy to just toggle between which screen you want to control. This Durango Hellcat is expected to only be around for one single model year, which I'm a little bit offended by because I would like to see it last longer than that. You also get the opportunity to sign up for the SRT track experience when you purchase your Durango Hellcat. That happens in Arizona, so you can go learn how to have some fun in the Hellcats and do so safely. If you have any more questions, you can contact us at Fremont CDJR in the Newark Auto Mall, or you can check out our stock of Durangos. Buy them online with our no-brainer checkout at dgdg.com. Thanks.